Hey, what's up, Zach's Live Traders? Welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I'm Dave Bartosiak, and here we're going to take a look at the good trades, the bad trades, and the ugly trades that we had over the course of the last week. Now, being that this is going to be expiration for the month of October, We've got a ton of options that we've talked about in the past that I want to go ahead and review. And we've got a couple of them that we went November and December even that I want to talk about too. So questions, comments, concerns, guys. If there's a stock that I didn't cover here that somehow I missed and it's an open option trade or something, shoot me an email, livetrader at zax.com. And of course, we're looking for next week what earnings plays we're going to do. Now, this one's going to be a little bit longer than our other videos because we've got a little bit more to cover significantly more to cover so i hope that you appreciate that we're going to take the time and try to knock this out now the other thing is i've gotten a lot of emails from people going like hey dave xyz corp did this and abc corp did this like what do i do relax that's why i do these weekly videos trying to train you to look at these once a week you don't need to be looking at these every second going back and forth because you will lose all of your hair that's how i lost my hair right I'm, I learned and I'm teaching you. Keep your hair. Don't make the same mistake I did. Take it easy. It's all good. All right, so let's get into this, the good, the bad, and ugly with eBay and our iron condor that we put on this week. So, of course, the iron condor is a dual leg strategy. So in this case, well, I guess a multi-leg strategy, technically, in this case, we were short the 34-35 calls, short a call spread, and short the 29-28 puts for a net credit of 31 cents. So the way that we make money on this one, max profit with eBay between 29 and $34, a very sizable range, but yeah, eBay right now. This spread's trading at 31 cents because the top side, the call spreads, are worthless right now. So that's good because we sold them. We want them to be worthless. But on the short side, this put spread here is at 31 cents because eBay was off 11% today. So a little bit more than I expected. So what are we looking at here with this 31 cents? I say tomorrow... Because a day of you know time value is going to erode from this, so if you could try to exit around break even on the put spread, that's cool. Unless you see a rally in the pre market tomorrow, now if shares of eBay start to come up, that's going to give you a good chance to go ahead and rip this trade just one end of it. Remember, just the bottom end, just the put spread. Go ahead and rip that. I think we're still going to make a few bucks on this. That's why you know I said ah, it's. You know, it's too early to tell, okay? But I want to make sure that you had some ammo tomorrow during the trading day to see what you're going to be looking for and what your game plan is going to be, okay? If eBay is trading like $29.50 or something like that, just relax, okay? Just let it go. I know it's a little bit stressful given the last day and all that, but it's amazing how these things end up working out. Have a little faith. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Intel and our bullish put spread we put on intel um essentially we went out of the money so we went short on the october 21st 3650 3550 put spread for a net credit of 21 cents now if you remember ebay i mean intel was trading well above that so i was pretty confident that they wouldn't come down of course we would have made money with Intel above 36.50, and Intel struggled off five and a half, six percent right off of the bat, and it came down to below 35.50 even. So, right now this spread is trading at 90 cents. Okay, so 21 cents was the net credit, and we got 90 cents now to close it. So, negative on that one. So this one's. This one's kind of ugly. This one's ugly, right? It's not working out for us. So what's the game plan? You just got to take the L, okay? That's why we put on a lot of these trades. You're not going to put your whole account on one thing. You roll the dice. This one didn't work out. Make sure you're managing your risk properly, right? If you're only risking a small portion of your account each time, then you don't have to worry about it. Again, you can one lot trade these bad boys, okay? You don't have to load the boat on them. We're learning. You're learning the options market. You're feeling the emotion. It's an important part of the process, okay? Now we're going to talk about AMD, okay? 
we went long a call spread on AMD, so I was bullish on this call spread. Now, we went out to November, so this is the November 18th expiration, a $6, $8 call spread for a net debit of 84 cents. So since this was a net debit, we paid for this, so we want this number to increase on the spread that means we're making money so the maximum profit would occur with shares of amd over eight dollars amd is going to report after the bell tonight but so far so good the spread's trading at 90 cents right now so we're already in the green a little bit of optimism heading into the earnings report so far so good right after the bell tonight, we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to follow up on AMD next week after the earnings report. Again, Monday, if you send me an email asking about AMD, I'm going to say relax, take it easy. I'm going to talk about it next week, okay? So relax on this one, especially if we're going all the way out to November. There's plenty of time. There's lots of things that can play themselves out, okay? So take it easy, relax. It's all good, all right? Okay, cool. Now we're going to go ahead and look at McDonald's. So we haven't heard about McDonald's yet. I believe they're tomorrow uh, right before the market opens. They've got, we've got a bearish call spread on McDonald's. So we went short the October 21st, 114, 115 call spread for a net credit of 20 cents. Again, net credit of 20 cents. This means we want this to go to zero. We want to see the spread disappear. And our max profit happens when McDonald's shares are trading below a buck 14. Right now, we've got the spread at. I'm loving it. We've got the spread at 14 cents right now after we sold it for 20 cents. So already we're in the green a little bit because basically every day the McDonald's doesn't make a big move. We're going to be good. I believe the stock's at 110, 111, something like that before I came into the studio here. We're short the 114, 115 call, so it's a little bit out there. So here's the game plan. If there's a huge spike on McDonald's at the open, just close it. Whatever it is, just close it, take it. Um, otherwise, relax, because McDonald's won't be trading above 114, and eventually this will expire worthless, and you're going to make money. So this is one of the ones that you're going to have to watch tomorrow, okay? You have to keep an eye on it a little bit, just see what happens, right? But you'll know shortly after the open which way this is going. Hopefully sideways or the stock goes down. So now I want to review some of the older stuff, right? And the good, the bad, and the ugly. I did this because there's a lot of people out there that only talk about the good trades that they make, right? And they brag about it. Like the Netflix trade that I made this week that I didn't do on this show, but I did it on SIBO TV. That's okay. I would have loved to have that 100, 110 call spread for you guys. I didn't have it. Sorry. But we're going to talk about the ugly trades, the bad trades, and the good trades. Let's start off with the ugly. <laughs> Nike. Nike. Ah, we were along the 54, 57 call spread for a buck 21. And Nike never got over $54, man. We didn't have a chance. Um, I, I think the position I, I said to close out one end and maybe let the, the long end run in some hopes, and it just didn't. It just never, no chance. Did not have a chance on Nike, okay? Just never, never, ever, ever pretended like it was going to go over that hurdle. Took a loss on Nike. That one was ugly. The Pepsi long started beautiful and then got ugly like my ex-girlfriend. 107 to 110. Long and strong. Could have ripped it last week for 28.5. It looks like it's going to expire worthless. Now, again, last week I said go ahead and rip it. Doesn't look like, I mean, if you didn't rip it and you got stuck, it's ugly, right? And I meant personality when I was talking about my ex-girlfriend, just so you know. Out of the next one. Let's look at the bad stuff, right? Oh, no, go back to bad, 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 bad. Micron, Micron, man. I almost made this one ugly. Um, but because I said, let's go ahead and just, you know, take the small loss on Micron last week or take the loss, so hopefully you paid attention to that. Uh, that's 17.50, 19.50 call spread. Then we had the Delta short. Now, this is not over yet. There's still a chance. 
But Delta rallied after that conference call, man. I don't know how, but whatever. And uh, the spread's up to 88 cents, so it's almost a 70 cent loss here for us on the Delta thing. Um, so that's kind of frustrating. The most that spread can get is to a dollar, right? So we'll just make our original 20 cents or whatever it was. Um, so that's bad. That's not so good. And then uh, CSX. Now, this is bad, but it's not terrible. So, again, we went out to November 18th, the 3128 put spread. It cost us 87 cents. Now, last week I said go ahead and rip the small loss. This week that spreads at 75 cents. So, if you still haven't ripped the small loss and you're still in it, that's kind of what you're looking at there for CSX. It is starting to come down a little bit. So, who knows? Maybe over time it'll get there. But I don't know if anybody still has it. So, if you have it, holler, email. Now the good stuff. I feel, I feel good about myself. Yeah, good stuff. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good. And I'm going to go over these quick because there's so many of them. <laughs> BlackBerry. We were short the December $7, $9 call spread um, for $0.88 cents net credit. That's trading at $0.62 cents now. So remember, we're short this, so we want this to go to zero. So it's at 62 cents, so we're up 26 cents on that. It's all the way out to December. It's going to take a while. That's good. Okay, the Costco short, the 155, 157.50 call spread. Um, beautiful. 54 cents is what we're making on that because of how terrible Costco has done, right? Costco's at $150 now, so there's that. So it looks like that's going to expire worthless. So that's good. Constellation Brands. We were short the 165, 160 put spread, and we put in our pocket $1.72 on that, and Constellation Brands has rallied. So that's good. So we're going to make a buck 72 on that one. Then we have Yum. So we were short the November 92.50-95 call spread for 80 cents. Now that spread is trading for 24 cents because Yum is taking a dump down to $86 now. And they haven't even done the spinoff yet, have they? I don't think that they have. Anyway, 24 cents, 56 cents in our pocket right now on that. Just keep holding on to that. Wells Fargo, sorry boys, short the 45.50, 46.50 call spread for 41 cents. I'm putting all that in my pocket and smiling all the way to the bank. Too bad I don't bank with Wells Fargo because that would be hilarious. Darden, this one, I know I had a couple of you guys nervous. Short the 65 call, short the 55 put. Just short the uh, straddle essentially, right? So choking it. We're trying to strangle this bad boy. And uh, 43 cents is what we put in our pocket, and Darden is trading down at uh, $63 today. That's going to expire tomorrow, so we'll get all of that if that works out. So, again, guys, what do you want to see? Live trader at zags.com. If there's any other trades that I forgot to put up here, anything you want to hear about, go ahead and do that. Live trader at zags.com. Shoot me those emails. Remember, Tuesday, 9 a.m. Central Time. I'm going to be right there sitting at the desk talking about Apple. Okay, that's not going to be our premium stream, I decided. Everybody's going to get that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do it on Apple. Make sure you check it out. It's going to be early in the morning on Tuesday. That was kind of the overall consensus. I'd say about 80, it was 80 20, with 80% of you asking for Tuesday morning or saying Tuesday morning you prefer versus the Thursday um, versus today, essentially. So, Apple early morning, and then I think I'm going to bang out Tesla right after that um, because they're going to be Tuesday also, and I got to get these things in, and, uh, you know, there it is. If you do send me emails on Friday or Saturday, I'm going to be out of the office, guys, enjoying myself, but I'm kind of an addict, so I'll probably check the emails. So if you're nice to me, I'll reply back. But if it's a mean email, I'm not going to deal with it to Tuesday, just so you know. So anyway, Thank you so much for hanging out with me here at Zach's Live Trader for the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I will see you guys after a fantastic weekend on Tuesday. Thanks so much, guys. Later.